grip strength, and your heart health. This is Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic Center. Most patients, this is not what they necessarily think about when they think about chiropractic, either grip strength or heart health. But we're going to talk about both of them tonight. We're going to talk about how both of them are connected to your spinal health. And in fact, we're going to answer the very simple questions of what, why, and how is this all connected? Now, as always, for our patients at the Limerick Chiropractic Center, we recognize that this is part of our patient care process, the education. And in fact, as we educate our patients, they're able to make better health care decisions for themselves, not just stopping the, th the bad things that they're doing, that slow them down, but also they get to start making better decisions for themselves, which means they get to move forward even more quickly, but stay well longer. That's our hope for every single person out there that sees this video. So if you would like this video, make sure that you share it on your Facebook page. But finally, leave us a, com a comment. Your comments below your takeaways, questions that you have, help us to better understand what to present next. And we love responding to those questions online because listen, we get to help you in your healthcare journey. So the what? That grip strength. The grip strength is a measure of the muscle strength on your forearm. Hey, listen, you know what? This is something that many of us don't necessarily work on. When we think about lifting weights, running, our forearms aren't the things that bring us to the gym. They're not the thing that we look at in the mirror. And yet it's vitally important for the strength of our heart, our cardiovascular system. And in, and in fact, part of the why behind this is because of some of the research that's out there. We realize that the research tells us things. And when we look at the research that's there, like grip strength predicts higher unplanned healthcare utilization amongst patients with heart failure. Listen, we realize this is not a chiropractic research project. This is a research project that was done by medical doctors. This is done, done by individuals outside of the chiropractic profession, and yet it directly points towards the, the nervous system body connection. Now, I do love the fact that grip strength uh, and, and, I, and the prognosis of patient heart health has been studied. Ultimately, the bottom line is reduced muscular strength is a common in patients with heart failure. The sad thing is, is that it's something that's easily tested, it's easy to monitor, and yet it's very often overlooked. And the problem is, is that we recognize if we're missing out on these very simple, very easy things to monitor, the risk is that we allow for damage to set in. And ultimately, death could possibly occur. So, the connection. This is a huge thing. When we look at the, the nerves that come out of the neck and the upper back, they form into the brachial plexus. Those are the nerve roots that directly control the function of our heart, directly control the function of our cardiovascular system. This Merrick chart, this comes out of the 29th edition of Gray's Anatomy. This is Embryology 101. This is how each and every one of us was designed, how our body's innate intelligence put us together. And yet we oftentimes overlook the fact that your nervous system, that brain of yours, is the master system of the body. It controls every other system, including that giant muscle that's at the center of your cardiovascular system, your heart. Our hearts don't beat without the nervous system telling it to. And in fact, when we have those 
arrhythmias, when we have those interruptions in normal heart rhythm or beats, it comes because of an irregularity in that connection with the nervous system. One of the things that we're capable of doing is controlling the information from the source to that body part. And as we look at this chart, it's that T2 level that's oftentimes identified as part of that, that, uh, that spinal connection that directly relates to our heart health. Now, I love this chart. This has been studied for so long, how it is that we measure our grip strength. Listen, this is not a very complicated thing. The chart is already set up. You find your age on there. You find your hand, you know, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And then you just simply walk yourself through the test. We know how your body is supposed to perform, what those ranges are that you're supposed to be in. And the amazing thing is a test that literally only takes but seconds could tell us such great information. Now, if you're not familiar with grip strength, listen, there's a number of different tools that are out there. There's very high end tools. There's also very, you know, lower end tools that still all give us remarkably great information. These tests, like you see here, simple. You just sit down, your elbows at 90 degrees, you pull hard. You pull hard, you hold it, these instruments, they're going to measure the amount of strength in those forearm muscles that is going to tell us how your tissues are performing. Now, for me, one of the biggest things is just like you saw, test the system. Sadly, most people don't test the system. If you take anything away from this conversation on your heart health and grip strength, it would be hopefully to have your system tested. Listen, we use these tests in our office all the time. If in fact you don't have a grip strength device available for you, give us a call. Come on in. We'll make sure that these numbers are tested for you. I'm Dr. Joseph Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic.